So, uh, what are we gonna do tonight, OCG? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, Bertram. Take over YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Pucktotem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is our review for Dance of Death, Dulac, and Fay. So, dear viewer, if you wouldn't mind, don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. So, Dance of Death, Dulac, and Fay, originally released back in 2019. A year I remember fondly as the year I was fondled by the ghost of King Arthur in a nearby car park. Um, how? How was I fondled by the ghost of King Arthur, or how was I in a local car park? Uh, both. Well, ghost of King Arthur I think is pretty self-explanatory. The ghost of King Arthur. Local car park. Um, I refrain to answer the question. You were doing that thing again, weren't you? What thing? I, I don't know what thing you're talking about, Bertram. You know what thing I'm talking about. You know, the thing you go into car parks to do. What? I don't go into car parks to do anything. Come on, be honest now. Fine, yes. I was a little bit too intoxicated and I wandered into the car park because I remembered there's no closed circuit television cameras in that particular car park because the owner of the car park is too cheap and stingy to install them. So yes, I went into that car park to take a dump. I mean, to urinate against a wall. Uh, you take a dump in the car park? No, Bertram. Like I then corrected myself. I urinate against the wall. Like a lot of drunken fellows these days. Anyway, we're completely getting off the subject here. We are here to talk about Dance of Death, Dulac and Fay. Uh, what the hell is Dance of Death, Dulac and Fay? I'm so glad you asked, Bertram, you beautiful bastard. Well, this is a kind of detective adventure game set in Victorian London, in which we play as two legendary characters. Those characters being Lancelot and Morgan Le Fay. You know, from like King Arthur? Oh, like the ghost of King Arthur? Yes, Bertram, have you never noticed when I do the whole... A year I remember fondly, I always try and come up with something that links to the game we've just played. Oh, I never noticed that before. That's quite clever. Thank you, Bertram. I'll give myself a pat on the back. Ow. Yes, our two legendary characters team up with Mary Jane Kelly whose name you might recognize as being the final documented victim of Jack the Ripper. And what a coincidence, because the whole plot of this game is our three characters teaming up and investigating Jack the Ripper. And to do that, you'll explore certain locations in Victorian London, like the police station, the streets, a local brothel, a local pub, etc, etc. You talk to people, ask them questions, make branching choices at certain moments in the game, which may or may not affect your relationship with other characters. There's also little side objectives like you can tell a chap to leave his wife or stay with his wife or you can tell another person to uh, piss off. I mean, that's not actually one of them. I just, my mind is 
is is awash with thoughts at the moment, and it's hard to pinpoint all these little side objectives, but there's quite a lot of them. But the main crux of the game is obviously investigating the murders of Jack the Ripper, and then hopefully discovering who Jack the Ripper is by the end of the game. Simple, no? Uh, very. So, do you find out who Jack the Ripper is? Uh, my, my lips are sealed, Bertram. That, that, that would be a spoiler if I... Yes. Yes, you do. But I'm not going to tell you any more than that. So, if you want to know, you have to play the game for yourself. And do I recommend you play this game? Absolutely. If you like detective games, if you like point-and-click games, if you like games set in Victorian London, if you like... Jack the Ripper stories, then you're going to be very at home here. Particularly if you like video games like the Sherlock Holmes games, the Hercule Poirot games. And while this game is nowhere near as long as those games are, it's very similar, especially in the graphics department, which you might be looking at your screen now and going, oh, this game doesn't look amazing, does it? No, it doesn't, but also it's not a triple A game with a triple A price tag. This is a very inexpensive title, and I highly recommend you pick it up at your earliest convenience because I, and when I say I, I mean me, I had an amazing time playing through this game. I really like the relationship between the three main characters. I like the links back to the King Arthur days and stuff like that. I, I liked all the Jack the Ripper stuff, particularly the crime scenes, which were nice and bloody and gory. And, you know, I get an erection for that kind of thing. Uh, that doesn't sound disturbing at all. Shut up, Bertram. And like I said, those branching choices you can make, so you have to play through the game at least twice to earn all the trophies, because you get trophies for different decisions which you can't make in the same playthrough, so you at least have to play the game twice, like I did. And yes, I had a great time with this game, therefore I declare the Dance of Death, Dulac and Fay is splendid. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my totally not improvised review for Dance of Death. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. But please remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Really? You take a dump in the car park? Are you still here? Oh, you must have really enjoyed this video then. In that case, you had better subscribe to the channel and check out our other content. Otherwise, you're a booby pads. And no one wants to be a booby pads.